that it gives me really bad motion sickness because it's like a 3D game and you have to move the camera around when you're playing and I just feel super dizzy when I'm playing it. And I've been playing it two days already, it's really hard. I don't know how I feel about the new Pokemon game. I like Sword and Shield better because it's cuter and it's easier. You only need two buttons. This one you have to do so much. And this is the extra long tip box. The inside, all the beautiful compartments. What do you guys think? Hey Max, hello love. The printing on it is so beautiful. And look at how long the 10XL stiletto is. Oh, it's everything. Here in Tucson. Has the Extend Gel ever been formulated? We don't sell Extend Gel. We sell DIY Gel, we sell Bubblegum Gel, and we sell Press On Gel. So let's see which one fits my thumb better. This is zero. This is one. Can you pronounce my name? Joquita. Joquita Kennedy. Did I pronounce it correctly, Miss Joquita? Or Miss Kennedy? Please let me know. It's too hard, the new Pokemon game. Let's put our tip box to the side. You have to do all these buttons and... From home of the mouse. We're gonna use pink bubblegum gel. Remember you guys, when you get your bubblegum gel, I know you wanna play with it. Let it level out on the desk, on your table, or on a flat surface before you open it, and then you can open it. I think I got too much. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to use my thumb to extend it out, just like that. But the constantly having to, um, move the camera around the new Pokemon game just, ugh, kills me. Why can it be stayed with the camera? No, no, Max. Well, can you, uh, write it out so I can hook on phonics, sound it out? No, it hasn't. It's been the same ever since launch, actually. All of our products, I think, as far as I can remember, have pretty much never been reformulated. Can you use a brush? Yes, you can. So let us apply Miss Bubblegum Gel with the 10XL Stiletto Bubblegum Gel in pink. Make sure it's not crooked, it's not twack, and I think that's good. And look at that, it doesn't move, it stays in place. And now we're gonna bake it for one minute. Oh, I'll just call you Miss Kennedy then. What do you guys think of the Ultra Moon Cat Eye? Isn't it sick? And you can do this pretty much on top of any color as well. These two are on top of clear. This, These two are on top of milky shiny. So maybe the one on the thumb, I'll do it on top of a darker color. What do you think? Joketa. Joketa? Maybe it's your lamp. What kind of lamp are you using? And how long are you uh, carrying it for? And there we have it. Look at how long it is. That fantasy is no joke. Almost 100 millimeters long. 
So now we're going to tailor the shape. And file the sides nice and straight. I'm not going to make this one super pointy. I'm just going to leave it more like how it is out of the bag. On the fridge. That's it. That's all the shaping you have to do. Now let us blend in the cuticle. I'm going to use the power top bits. And I like a really blended in cuticle so that way it looks just like a sculpted nail. I'm going to take my buffer and buff the top surface of the nail. Yeah, how long have you had your lamp for? Turn the head upside down, bevel out the inside, the concave convex, make sure it's nice and even. Oh, does anybody know when the new um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes out on Netflix? I wonder if it's any good. I love me a good Leatherface movie. The last one I saw was terrible. I think I saw it on Christmas. It was probably one of the worst Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies I've ever seen. On LED lamps, you don't change out the light bulb, you change out the lamp entirely, and it depends on how long you use it. I would say on average, maybe once or twice, uh, once a year or twice a year, depending on how often you use your lamp. If you're super busy and you're doing a lot of nails, then I would probably uh, change it out at least once a year. When you feel your gels are not curing all the way or hard enough, um, then it's time to cure because the difference between a UV bulb and an LED bulb, or actually a regular bulb, UV and LED bulbs, both the same, is that they will never fade out. They will always look like they emit the same energy, but they die out over time. How long have I had my Barbie lamp? I don't remember, actually. That's a good question. I don't remember. Either. But I don't do nails all day, every day, so it's a little bit different for me. Because I'm not in the salon every day. But if I was, then I would probably, you know, switch out lamps more frequently. That's why they're so affordable now. And we are going to be launching this year our cordless lamp. So I want a darker color for the base of... this one so that way we can just see what the um, ultra moon cat eye looks like so I'm gonna use a pink 14 which is this really pretty rich caramelly cashmere nude color it's a little bit darker and a little bit deeper than a pink number three You're leaving already, brown face? Did you guys uh, put everything away? Did you separate everything? That's it? 
Mm -mm -mm. Did you bring in the box I needed? Of the diamonds. Ask her dad. You're working tomorrow? Oh, look at that color. That color is rich and luxe. So let's bake it for 30 seconds inside the barbie lamp. That is correct, Miss Taylor. Hi, Max. Hello, love. Hi from New Jersey, said Pamela. Is it possible for the gel to pop off and just stay on the nail? Um, yes, that is possible if you're not using our nails or our gel and if you undercure the nail. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Well, I will get a new lamp. I feel so much better now. I have been driving myself crazy. Thank you, everyone. And you can use the promo code if you're here in the States, Miss Laura, Tiger20, to save 20% off your entire purchase for the Lunar New Year. It is one of the three big sales that we have here at EnoCouture.com. The first one is this one, which is the Lunar New Year sale. The second is my birthday, and the third is Black Friday. So I'm going to use Ultra Moon. In the Ultra Cat Eye series, there's four colors as of right now, but only one is available for purchase, which is Ultra Moon. And later we'll be launching uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Comet, and Ultra Star. So we're going to do a nice coat of Ultra Moon over the entire nail. Nice, even long strokes. Not pretty, even just like that. How long did you cure it for, and what kind of lap can you? And also, don't use any alcohol. Alcohol is the worst. So let us turn on the pigments with our magnet. Oops. Look how cool that looks activated. Isn't that sick? And then I'm going to do... that stunning let's bake this for 30 seconds flash gel in stock this week no unfortunately hmm you don't cleanse with any kind of alcohol, do you? Because alcohol can lead to lifting. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Look at how pretty that is. Hello, Max. Hi, Becky. And now we're just going to add a few diamonds, nothing too, too much. Just to give her a little bit of a... A little bit of an eleganza kind of look. I'm going to use a diamond gel because I'm not going to apply too many and nothing too big today. So this is Diamond Holic. I think it's 50 or 51. I can't remember. And then we're going to add one of the purple fairy stones. And this is Diamond Holic 74 and the white opal stones from the crystal sphere and diamond sphere nails. So we're going to do a nice even thin coat of diamond gel over everything.
I just love the nude under the ultra moon. It's so chic. Like literally, this nail looks like it lights up the night. I did use alcohol. There we go. We found the culprit. It is Miss Alcohol. No alcohol, Miss Kenya. Alcohol leaves residue of moisture of water. So to cleanse the nail, just one coat of nail prep and one coat of primer, that's all you need. And also don't cleanse the inside of the nail. I know some people use our primer, which is non-acid on the inside of the nails, and you can use that too. It does make the nail a little bit sticky, but I personally don't do that because I don't, I, I think it's a waste of primer. Do I cure it? Yes, yeah, so you apply the crackle gels on top of um, sticky gel, not fully cured gel. So cure your gel polishes for around 30 seconds. On Instagram, you can definitely tag us. Awesome, you're welcome, Elizabeth. We have been working on that tip box for almost a year. So I'm so glad we're able to launch it now. Put this one right here. And then a little teardrop diamond. I think a one, two, three go kit is great for a beginner. It's got a little bit of everything. On Instagram, they were asking, what is the secret to rhinestone application? And it's just about applying them in odd numbers, really. And I think that's good. Not too much, not too little, just a little bit of rhinestones. The camera would bloody focus. There we go. Let's bake this for one, actually two minutes. Diamond gel needs to be cured for two minutes inside the lamp. No, we use acetone with our inks, actually. If you do use alcohol with the inks, I would recommend an alcohol that's at least 90% proof. Anything else would leave too much residue of water, which could cause lifting. So that's correct. I like good old-fashioned acetone. You're welcome. Curing inside. Look how cool it looks inside the lamp too. Why do we cure the diamond gel longer? <coughs> and that's because the gel takes longer to penetrate all the way around the rhinestones. And if you under cure it, it's gonna leave basically what we call a volcano. So it'll be cure gel around but the inside or the bottom uh, uh, underneath of the rhinestone will still be sticky and then that rhinestone comes right off and that's what we don't want. So that's why we always spend a little bit of extra time curing it. And if the rhinestone is really big, go around with some thick gel like Wonder Gel or Dom Top is great as well too, to seal those edges to make sure that they don't snag, especially in the hair because that is the worst when your nails snag your hair. No thank you. Good evening, Max. Hello, love. And there we have it. What do you guys think? Mm, came out really pretty. Let me get some hard light. It's like a sweater, swirl of magnetic magic. And see five diamonds. Perfect. And different sizes too. And then here are the other ones. Man, those are some really short nails. Very daytime stripper. You know, soccer mom kind of length. Very third grade teacher size nails, yes, I agree. What do you guys think, do you love it? The sound of long nails, I love it. Oh. It's 
Such a work of art. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, my loves, that's going to wrap up our little demo today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very simple, very discreet. You know, nothing too crazy. And don't forget, we have until Friday to use the promo code TIGER20. It ends Friday at midnight for the 20% off sale here at InnoCouture.com. And you can take advantage of it and get all the new things that we have been dropping. And that's going to be a wrap for today's demo, you guys. What can I say? I love you so, so much. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. And I will see you guys later in the next live demo. Bye, everybody.